In this question, you're provided with a real life lab scenario and you need to decide what's the best course of action to take. So in this particular question, a student goes to collect their safety goggles and their lab coat at the beginning of class before they conduct a lab, but there are none left as you can see in the image. So what should you do? We've got four options. So let's read through each option. Option one is to share the safety goggles and lab coat with your partner and continue with the lab. This might sound like a good option, but our rule that we need to follow here is that safety goggles and a lab coat are required at all times during a lab activity. So that's not gonna be good enough. So A isn't gonna work. What about B? B is continue with the lab anyway without safety goggles or a lab coat. That's also not going to work because we need a lab coat and safety goggles to keep our eyes and clothes and body safe during an experiment. So B is not gonna work. C says ask the teacher for help. This sounds like a good option because maybe there's another room with extra safety goggles or an extra lab coat. Maybe the teacher can provide you with their goggles and their lab coat. Or maybe the teacher doesn't know that there aren't enough lab coats and lab goggles and they need to purchase more for the classroom. So asking your teacher for help is always going to be the best option when you don't know what to do and when there's uh, no obvious path, path forward, especially when it comes to safety. So ask the teacher for help. That sounds like a good option. The last option is to put on sunglasses and extra sweater and continue with the lab. This may seem like a good alternative to safety goggles and a lab coat, but actually safety goggles and a lab coat are designed intentionally for chemistry labs. They're made of specific materials designed to resist impact or to resist burning. So putting on any old sunglasses or glasses and any old sweater isn't going to be as useful as if we had safety goggles and a lab coat specifically designed for chemistry. So that's not gonna work. So our best option is going to be C in this situation.